Ever since the time of Christopher Columbus, the Spanish had claimed large areas in Central and South America. At first these explorers searched for gold and silver. After a while they began to set up encomiendas. These were large plantations. They were places where many native people were put to work. Their work on these plantations helped make the Spanish very wealthy. But diseases took their toll on the native population. Many people died over time. The Spanish were not going to let this stop them. They brought in African slaves to work their plantations instead. The Spanish started to settle into this part of the world. They built cities. They set up universities. They ruled over the area. They set up their own kind of government. They also spread their Catholic religion. But they were still hoping to find gold and silver. Over time, Spanish explorers started looking for it in North America. They would eventually claim land on this continent as well. In the east, they set up colonies in what is now Florida and South Carolina. They also claimed many lands in the southwestern part of the continent and along the Pacific coast. French explorers had been searching for the Northwest Passage for many years. This was a sea route that connected the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. No one knew if it really existed, but if it did, the French hoped they would be the first to find it. Their explorers sailed down the St. Lawrence River and claimed new lands for France. They set up colonies in Montreal and Quebec. Very few French people wanted to live there though. The climate was very cold but they still brought their culture and way of life to the area. French traders got along good with the native people. They often traded for furs with the natives. French explorers traveled along a lot of the rivers in North America, even the Mississippi River. They claimed many areas along the river. They even named one area after their king. They called it Louisiana. The English were also interested in exploring. They sailed along the coast of North America and claimed new lands for their king. They also set up a number of permanent settlements on the East Coast in places like Virginia and New England. Settlers were interested in these areas because they hoped to find gold or make money by growing tobacco. Other settlers came to these new colonies to find religious freedom. Whatever their reason for coming, these settlers brought their culture, language, religion, and values with them to the New World. The Spanish, French, and English were all in South Carolina at one time or another. They were competing for new colonies. They were doing it all over the continent. Colonies were a great way to bring more money and resources to their home country. Hernando de Soto was a famous explorer. He traveled through South Carolina looking for gold, but he never set up a permanent settlement. The Spanish did set up a colony though in the 1520s. They called it San Miguel de Guadalpe. It was near present day Georgetown. They left it after just a year. The French set up a colony in the 1560s. They called it Charles Fort. It was near present-day Beaufort. They left it too. The first permanent settlement in South Carolina would not come for another 100 years. It was called Charlestown, and it was set up by the English in 1670.